Turn it up. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cunningham Garage. I'm Steve, and today we're gonna do something a little different. Today I'm gonna be working on this. It's a Toyota Tacoma. We're gonna be doing a headlight restoration on this one. The owner is looking to sell the truck, so he wants to shine up the headlights and the fog lights so they look a little better. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it yourself and make it look like it's brand new. It's a very simple process. All you'll need is a little bit of 1,000 grit sandpaper, a little bit of 2,000 grit sandpaper, and I'm going with, at the end, 3,000 grit. You'll wet sand all the headlights down with just a spray bottle of water. It's very easy. Hit the, hit the headlights, you're good to go. But before you do that, You'll need to tape off the headlights around the paint. That way when you're buffing and sanding, you don't hit the paint and mess up any of the bodywork. In between sandings, which I will show you, you'll need a towel or a microfiber cloth to dry off the excess water and clean off from sanding. So let's get to this part. Now before we do anything, we're going to tape off these headlights. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Just take some blue painter's tape, pull a piece off, and just put it right up against the bodywork. Just like that. So I'm going to cut this off, and I'll show you what the rest of it looks like after it's been taped off. Okay, so you're not going to see my face a whole lot. I just want the headlight in the picture. I'm still here. Good job. So, what you want to start with is give the whole headlight a good clean. Get your towel. Wipe it down. And then go back over it. Give me one second. You want to go back over it with just some normal alcohol like 91% alcohol you can get it from Walmart or any place local put some on a rag and then rub the headlight down what this is gonna do is remove any waxes oils bugs anything that's stuck on the headlight that you don't want to send into the headlight give it a nice rub down And you can already see just from the alcohol how nice it's coming out. And we haven't even started yet. So now, what you want to do, wet the headlight back down. And start with 1,000 grit sandpaper. Just a small piece. Doesn't take much. Wet the sandpaper down. And then just start going back and forth. It might stick a little. Like that. <laughs> and just slowly work your way back and forth. Okay, so I've just finished sanding with the 1000 grit. You can't really see it too much in the video, but it's got a nice white haze to it and the, the headlight is very smooth now. So what you're gonna do now is take your 2000 grit and go over the same way. Just back and forth, work your way down. Then go over, work your way up. Just Make sure you cover the whole headlight. So now I'm going to start in the 2000 grit and I'll show you what that looks like after it's been sanded. Okay, so we're done with the 2000 grit. And as you can see, it's coming out a lot better. It's even more smooth now. And probably what you can see through jumping through the video is that the headlight is becoming less yellow and more and more see-through, which is a great thing. Every time you sand, Every time it's wet, you'll notice how clear it is. You'll, you'll find that out when you're doing it. And remember, don't, don't be afraid to do it. It's really not that bad. It's not that terrifying. It is at first, but you'll get over that. <laughs> Just depends how clean you want your headlights. So next we're going to go over it with a 3000 grit. And I'll show you what it looks like after that. So now here's the 3000 grit. 
the headlights become a lot more clear, a lot more smooth. It's taken out a lot of imperfections. So the next thing we're going to do is actually buff it. And what we're going to use for that, let me grab it for you, is just a hand drill. Very easy. If you got a corded one or a cordless, either way is fine. And all this is, is a small buffing pad. You can get this on Amazon. That's where I got it from. Comes with a chuck, or the uh, adapter piece, and foam pads. I used the black one. It's the one that's worked the best for me so far. Just put it in your drill, chuck it up. Now the compound we'll be using, I've been using Meguiar's Plastex. It's used, it's got the best results I've found so far. And it gives a good shine, cleans up a lot of the imperfections, which I'll show you basically live right now. So all you're gonna do is take your drill, put some, doesn't have to be a whole lot, but just get it on your, your foam pad. And then what you wanna do, or at least this is what I do, is I just work it all the way around. That way you don't have a big clump in one spot. And then what I like to do is just spritz it once or twice with your water bottle. It, more lubrication is better. Then just kind of go back and forth a little. There we go. So after that, take a clean microfiber towel. Just buff it off. I mean, look at the results of that. So, here's how it looks now. Here's a picture of what it looked like previously. It's a huge difference. And all it took was a little bit of tape, a little bit of buffing, and just a little bit of your time. That's it. And your headlights can look brand new again. Now, the next good step is you can either put a a ceramic coating to protect the headlight or you can do what I do. It works pretty good. I've never had problems out of it so far. I use the Eagle One Nano Wax. Don't know if you can see that really good. But just give it a nice little helping of it. What I'll do is just kind of just work it in gently with your hand. Or if you've got a nice little clean rag to work it in with. You could do it that way too, but I'll use a rag in just a minute. What this will do is give the it will give the headlight more protection than just bare plastic. Let that dry for just a moment, and then you just work off what's left. Look at that. It looks like a brand new truck again. Sorry about that, everyone. My phone died, so it's kind of hard to record. So this is the next headlight. I'm just going to do short videos real quick. This one has some hairline cracks in it, but it's not on the outside. It's just a crack inside the plastic. But you can see how bad this headlight is. So I'll show you what it looks like. Basically, we're going to do a before and after. There you go. There's the second headlight done. It looks amazing. So, if you can't tell, here's a before and after picture on this one. So, a wrap up on the headlights. In total, I didn't tell you earlier, in total, that project is going to take you 
30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how much you sand and buff and clean and prep. But the biggest thing to remember is make sure you sand every inch. Go around the edges and make sure everything is nice and clean. Tape everything off really well. That way when you're buffing, you don't scratch any headlights. Well, not the headlights, but the paint around the headlights or any trim or anything like that. And just take your time, actually enjoy it. It's actually not that scary. I know a lot of you are looking up this video because you want to do it, but you're looking at it going, I'm terrified to take sandpaper to a headlight. It's not that bad. It might scare you at first, but once you start buffing it, it looks incredible. So I know most of you were on here to look up the information on how to do it, and that's what I'm trying to do. Some of you might be on here just to watch me. If you are, thank you. But most of it is here for information, and that's what I'm gonna try and do every video. Some of it might be funny, some of it may not be. But just keep watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the video. Tell your friends, if you know someone that needs their headlights fixed, show them the video. So in total, you're gonna buy some sandpaper, some microfiber cloth, let's see, the compound to clean the headlights. If you have a drill, it works a lot better. You can do it by hand, but it's gonna take you a lot longer. So if you have a drill, it doesn't matter if it's a cordless drill or a corded drill, either way it works. And then you can go to your local auto parts store and pick up the compounds and all the cleaners and everything like that. So until next time, remember, if you're driving down the highway and you see somebody who looks like they're throwing up gang signs out their window, they may have just flipped a booger at your car. So enjoy that. See you guys next week.